Hi, Steve Stenrose, First Choice Inspections with another Inspection Minute. I'm inspecting a water heater here. Uh, this has had an insulation jacket installed on it. And let's take a closer look at this water heater. There's a few issues here with it. First of all, the insulation jacket. Up at the top is where the flue comes out of the top of the water heater and goes up through the roof. Uh, this insulation jacket uh, was wrapped so tightly around this flue that uh, it wasn't able to get adequate uh, dilution air, so the combustion products were not being vented properly. This can be a carbon monoxide hazard. It can also cause damage to the appliance and shorten its lifespan. It can void the warranty as well. This is a newer water heater installed. And this particular type of water heater is an FVIR model. That stands for Flammable Vapor Ignition Resistant Water Heater. So this is an FVIR model. And here at the manifold door, okay, you have a sight window. We can take a look in there at the uh, pilot light and the burner flame and make sure that's operating properly. And then over here you have your ignition wire and your thermocouple going through this opening. Now this particular uh, manifold door has apparently been removed. Uh, the seal here where the these two uh, components pass through has been uh, taken out. So now this is no longer an FVIR model. It's been uh, modified. Uh, flammable vapors in the garage can ignite and it can be an explosion hazard. And if you look over here at the label, it'll tell you right there uh, that this, is, this can be an explosion hazard. And it says, uh, replace two-piece wire connector if missing or removed. And that's what's missing here. So this should be repaired uh, to make sure this water heater uh, meets the FVIR requirements. Then let's take a look at the uh, seismic strapping on this appliance. And this is something I see quite often. The water heater itself sits off the wall approximately 8 inches and there's no blocking or bracing behind the water heater itself. Uh, so the strapping, even though the seismic strapping is on there, one on the top third, one on the bottom third, there should be some type of blocking or bracing behind the appliance so that no lateral movement can occur in the event of a seismic uh, uh, activity. And then this is the TPR valve here that you see the discharge line coming down and it goes into the wall. Let's go take a look at the termination of that because there's an issue with that. So as we come around the corner of the garage here There is the termination of the temperature and pressure relief valve discharge line. Uh, this needs to have an elbow put on it. It should terminate facing the ground. Uh, this is a safety hazard here.